Hi, this is Teacher Russell once again. Welcome to our class for today. How are you? Okay, you're fine. And Teacher Russell is also fine. So, are you ready for our lesson now? Good. So, we are both ready to discuss about our topic for today. So, today we're going to talk about this. Okay, look at this. What do you think is this? <clears throat> Very good. It's a poem. So, do you know how to make a poem? Really? <laughs> Are you sure? In English? Oh, it's good that you can make a poem. Actually, it's a little difficult to make a poem, but if you will try, you can make it. Okay, so it's all about a family poem. So we will be talking about poetry. Here, we have this family poetry. So what is a poetry? So can you please read the meaning of the word poetry? Okay, so it uses the sound of words to show pictures and feelings. And we have also the word rhythm here. So what is a rhythm? Okay, it is a pattern of beats like music. So if you are reading a poem, then you will find there the rhythm. So as if you are also singing a song. Okay, have you tried making a poem already? Mm-hmm. Where? <laughs> In your school. Okay, there we get. So let's try to read this first poem that we have here. So what is the title? Okay, very good. Everybody says. So let's read it now. Okay, we'll make it a little bigger. Okay, that one. Okay, so let's start. Everybody says, I look just like my mother. Everybody says, I'm the image of Aunt B. Everybody says, my nose is like my father's, but I want to look like me. Okay, so have you heard the sound? <clears throat> okay, yeah. So while we are reading this poem, so as if we are also singing a song, right? Okay, very good. So this is written by Dorothy Aldis. Okay, so the one who wrote the poem is called A. What? Oh, really? Wow, very good. That's correct. Poet. <laughs> You're so smart. Okay, so let's go to the next page. Okay, here we have another one. So this is not a title. And what can you say about the picture here? Yeah, we have the grandmother and her granddaughter. Daughter. Very good. Okay, so what's the title? Abelita's lap. Do you know the word lap? Okay, yeah, very good. So if we say lap, that is in your thigh. Okay, so you can make it your chair. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's go to this now. You have to read it. We will read it together. Okay. I know a place where I can sit and tell about my day. Tell every color and I, that I saw from green to cactus gray. Okay, next. I know a place where I can sit and hear a favorite beat. Her heart and quintus from the past, the rhythms honey sweet. I know a place where I can sit and listen to a star, listen to its silent song gliding from afar. I know a place where I can sit and hear the wind go by, hearing it spinning round my house, my whirling lullaby. Okay, so this is written by Pat Mora. So what have you noticed in this poem? <clears throat> okay, very good. So there are rhyming sounds at the end of the line. So we have, for example, this beat, sweet, 
star afar by lullaby so that is the what we call rhythm sound okay very good next let's see what is the next poem okay here we have this title but you have to tell me something about this what can you say about that picture all right yeah so this is the picture of a family and what can you say about their family yeah i do agree with you of course so they are happy together is your family also happy when you are all together okay very good so that's good so the family should always be happy when they are together uh-huh so this is all about the grandpa story so please read this now the pictures on the television do not make me dream as well as the stories without pictures grandpa knows how to tell even if he does not know what makes a spaceman go grandpa says back in his time hamburgers only cost uh, a dime ice cream cones a nickel and a penny for a pickle okay so this is written by how do you read his name Langston use okay so you have to read this as use okay not hug his <laughs> but use okay so we have there again the rhyming words yeah this dime time nickel pickle Okay, so those are the rhyming words. Anyway, thank you for being with me today. And it's time for me to say goodbye once again. We'll see you. I will see you again next time in our next class. Okay, thank you so much. Bye for now. So this is again Teacher Cell. And see you next time in Petra Academy. Bye-bye.